Amen. What a good thing it is to rejoice in the Lord and know that the Lord is in the midst of us and He inhabits the praises of His people. It's so good to know that the Spirit of God that raised Christ from the dead also lives on the inside of us and is moving and having His being. Because of Him, we can stand boldly in this life and proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We bless you this day, Father. We thank you that you've opened our eyes, Lord, to worship you and to, to see how good you are to us, Lord. You are so good to us. Hallelujah. We're so glad for all of you watching us online as well as we praise and worship the Lord. You can sing along with us with the lyrics on the screen. And we believe that the Spirit of God that is working here and moving is also able to minister unto you in healing, in signs and wonders. And if it's wisdom, God has everything that you need. Everything that we need is in the Spirit of God. So we're glad that you're joining us as we worship our Savior. Thank you, Father. We're going to sing and proclaim from the book of Philippians, chapter 1, verse 11. It says that we are filled with the fruits of righteousness. When we think of righteousness, it means we are right standing with God. We can stand boldly in His presence because that's the nature that God gives us, not a nature of fear, but a nature of righteousness. We're going to sing everything that we have in this nature of righteousness. So let's rise up to our feet and begin to praise God. We are filled with all the fruits of righteousness. Everything that we need is in this nature. Glory to God. Let's worship Him.
We are right standing with God. We have the nature that God has. That's what he has given to us. And God wants you to walk in the new nature that he has given us. You know, we see how sometimes we can always talk about in myself. Well, that's how I really am. That's my nature. But as a Christian, you've got to come and say, no, I'm going to start living after the nature of righteousness. Sometimes we get so caught up with talking about the flesh talk about that's me that's really who I am we got to come to that place where we begin to declare in Christ I have favor in Christ I'm an overcomer instead of talking about you know being sinners we can say in Christ I am a son of God when we change the way we talk about ourselves and see ourselves in Christ that's what we were singing about and we're declaring the things that we have in this new nature in Christ Jesus We are more than conquerors in this nature. Don't look at yourself the way you were born or the way you are. Begin to see as a Christian in Christ who I am. Through this new nature of righteousness. That's something the Lord wants us to get in Christ. Don't see yourself as the flesh sees you. As a Christian begin to say now I'm seeing myself through the eyes of Christ. In Christ I'm an overcomer. Whenever you face that those moments of those thoughts coming over you about your nature or the way you are, say, no, in Christ, I am a son of God. In Christ, I'm an overcomer. In Christ, I walk in the fruits of righteousness. Sometimes we declare, I make the same mistake over and over again. I do the same habit. You can break that habit by with your words by saying, through this nature of righteousness, I have authority over my flesh to bring it to subjection. In Christ, I can do all things. When we see ourselves in Christ, 
we will not hang our heads down and look as losers. In Christ, we can walk in everything this nature of righteousness has. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Let's continue to praise the Lord. Declare the victory that we have through Jesus Christ. How many victors do we have here? Amen. Amen. We are victors in Jesus. So let's continue to praise him and declare the victory in the new life that Jesus has given us. Hallelujah.
to celebrate that we have a new and a living way in Jesus a life that we don't have to compare to the old life he gives us a new and a living way Romans chapter 6 is an amazing scripture that we can meditate on and remind ourselves of the new life that we have in Jesus you don't have to live according to the old nature of yourself you can say Lord I'm walking in the new and living way that you have planned for me Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We worship you. Thank you for the newness of life. We're so thankful to you, Father, that we can walk in the new life. We don't have to be trapped in bondage by the enemy. Thank you for the new life. Let's continue to sing songs in who we are in Christ. We're overcomers in Jesus. Hallelujah.
Father, that we can be seated with you in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Oh, thank you for your deliverance, Father. He is able to deliver evermore. Thank you, Father. We praise you for the deliverance. Thank you for deliverance from bondage right now. We speak to infirmities in Jesus' name. We speak to sicknesses, we speak to disease, and we command you to leave in the name of Jesus. Right now, thank you for the Spirit of God that is moving here right now in Jesus' name. Thank you for setting the captives free, Lord. Thank you for deliverances from bondage. Receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. Thank you for your deliverance. Sad hearts weep no more. Don't, let, don't be overtaken by a spirit of sorrow. Scripture says in Psalm that it's vain to rise up in the morning and to sleep at night, constantly eating the bread of sorrows. The moment you wake up, you're sad. The time you go to bed, you're always sad. It says he gives us his beloved sleep. The spirit of sorrow, it can cause you to do things that you know in your heart that you wouldn't do. Because of your sadness, you start turning to other things. Don't be overtaken by a spirit of sorrow. Right now, the spirit of sorrow, let it break off your life right now in Jesus' name. Amen. We speak, we break that spirit of sorrow in Jesus' name right now. Maybe sorrow over what didn't happen, what you wish could happen. Break that spirit. Don't live in the spirit of sorrow right now. Father, we thank you that you've given us the oil of gladness. Yes. The book of Habakkuk talks about a man who, his fields, nothing was growing in his fields. You can imagine the position that he was in. But it says, he said, yet will I rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. And you rejoice and you can break that spirit of sorrow. So in Jesus' name, we come across, we come and we speak against that spirit of sorrow. We break it in Jesus' name. Spirit of sadness, spirit of loneliness. We address you right now in Jesus' name. Get out in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that we are the redeemed and you have filled us with the oil of gladness. Lord, you have given us joy instead of mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. The spirit of heaviness, we take authority right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for giving us joy forevermore. Let's say this out, even as we listen to the word, say, Father God, I thank you for the oil of gladness that you have given me. I refuse, I refuse to be controlled, to be controlled by, a by a spirit of sorrow, a spirit of sadness, a spirit of, a spirit of, heaviness. A spirit of heaviness. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you have redeemed me from the curse. You, from the you, curse. Bore, upon you bore upon yourself 39 stripes, 39 stripes for, my for my healing so I can be free, so I can be free from, every from every unclean spirit. I am free right now in I'm Jesus' name. Right Free in Jesus' name, whom the Son sets free, 
is free indeed. And I am free to rejoice evermore. And I know my youth shall be renewed even as I rejoice. In Jesus' name, amen. Turn to someone and say, rejoice for the spirit of joy is upon you. Hallelujah. Rejoice. The spirit of joy is upon you. Joy is upon you.